What's Gucci, my s**ts? Been back at it again. All right, y'all, so hopefully this is going down right. Sorry for the lateness. Let's see if I can get this uh, set up right. It says that I'm live. Hopefully the music ain't too loud in the back. Was Gucci, Chris, already got Kurt in the building too. Appreciate everybody coming in, stopping in, chilling up here in the Benham Alley. I was trying to get uh, everything uh, set up, man, but uh, as well, everything uh, that I was going to show. What's up, Caleb? Uh, everything that I got to show, man, it's a lot, y'all. Uh, hopefully, we got time to show everything. I probably won't be unboxing everything, but uh, I will most definitely be showing y'all everything that I picked up. This is basically like a haul from at least a good like month and a half. What's Gucci? Uh, Goose, thanks for uh, coming in, bro. Already, I appreciate that, Chris, man. No doubt. Uh, like I said, yeah, this is a lot of stuff. Um... There's some stuff that I, I, I probably don't know uh, about it or something, but if y'all y'all can uh, by all means you know chime in and say uh, what if you know if you know what it is. Oh, what's Gucci uh, Chubbs? Let me clean this camera, man. Y'all, let me know if that music's too loud in the back. I'll turn it down. So I got like a. A little bit of everything in this uh, I got I got movies I got games I literally almost I got a little system um, I got pops I got books uh, models Hot Wheels figures all kinds of stuff man I've just been picking up stuff I even got one piece of clothing well it's not clothing it's actually a hat I'll start, I'll start off by the little small stuff, man. Y'all know if y'all been watching my channel, my channel first, uh, I mean, it's, it's all derived around legends and stuff like that and, and figures, but before I actually started my channel, I was a big uh, collector, and I've even had vids where, like, literally I'll show me customizing them, uh, me taking them apart, so I'll show some little... Hot Wheels that I picked up from the thrift. Let's see. I don't know what that just did. There's a Nevin Callaway. Kind of comes off looking like a like a like a Corvette. Picked up that little bad boy. These actually came in a big bag. I wish um, I had the bag still, but Little Venom actually ripped it open. And he wanted the cars, man, so I gave him the, the cars, and I just actually had to end up finding them. Got another one right here. Some of these, I, I, I wouldn't mind actually customizing them and showing them off. I still actually have some customs in the works. Got an oldie right here. Old school MR2. It's a Toyota. This is actually from 96. This uh, this is actually a Matchbox. This isn't a Hot Wheel. Chris might know about those. Yeah, that Chevy truck is dope, man. Oh no. And we got some other little like futuristic ones. Kind of reminded me of a Bugatti in the front. My li my little boy, he loves this car, man. He thinks it's so funny. It's like a it's a Mustang, but it has like actual rubber tires in the front. It's a Maisto. This actually looks like something Curtis would drive on the streets of uh, the Bronx. <laughs> And then uh, I 
wish uh, I wish uh, my 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 bro Mero uh, Timmy Wallace was in here, man. He loves Camaros just like I do. This one's actually pretty dope because it actually has an open hood. I'm not a hundred percent sure how of the rarity of these because with the uh, the new ones, the hoods don't open like this. This is a 70 Camaro. Usually the ones that say Malaysia are the, uh, some of the older ones. I do have some old, old school ones that are uh, from Hong Kong. But usually the ones with the opening hoods and stuff like that, they're, they're older models. Because um, nowadays they just cast the whole thing by itself. Um, this, these also came in there. It was like a whole set. These were, um, what are they called? I think they're called, oh no, this one's actually an M2. I thought these were those uh, muscle machines. But I think these were, um, you can still find these when you're going, to, when y'all go in the, the, the toy aisle. Um, if y'all look on the side where their Hot Wheels are and stuff, they have M2s. And man, if y'all are ever looking, if y'all ever go into, in, uh, in, if any of y'all ever go into y'all's, the, I mean, if, of course we all go into the toy aisle, but I mean, um, if y'all ever look on that side of the, the aisle, um, these M2s, they have chases, man, and what to look out for is basically like gold wheels, all the accessories, like if this was a, if this had a grill right here, it would have gold on it, um, inside will have gold, all the chrome parts are going to have gold, Th those, are, those are actual chases for M2s. Here goes another one. Looks like a Bel Air station wagon. They they weren't as beat like this. Like Little Venom Man just beat them, man. But, I mean, that's that's how the little kids are, man. You know? They start off from, from small, and then they grow up to us, man, and collect. And then we don't even, we really don't even probably play with all of our toys. So, I mean, it's all good. I still mess around with mine. But I do like this one. This one was really dope. Um, so that was like most of the cars. I think there was like one more. I think it was this one. Yeah, man. Little Venom be doing that, man. He was crashing them joints. I, I, and, and this is just literally, man. This isn't even all of them, y'all. Like, this is just a little small, like a small, small uh, portion of them, bro. Like, um... Hopefully I can, um, in my next vid, when I do uh, one of the reviews on one of these figs, uh, I'll show y'all the bag that it came in. I think we got it for like two or three bucks. And it did have some figures in there. I'm going to show y'all those too. I may have to run back to the, to the Symbia Sanctum and grab the, the head that it came with. But uh, yeah, man, it was like only like two or three bucks. Um... So let me see, let's get it to, oh shoot, hold up. This was one of Little Venoms too. It's a, uh, what is that, a Harley Davidson? Yeah, I can't see what kind of model it is. It's a mice though. These are pretty good for the uh, three and three quarter figs. Oh yeah, man, by, by all means, y'all, like, if y'all ain't sub to each other, man, sub, you know, show each other some love, bro. That's the one thing I, I do like about going live. Um, you know, y'all get to uh, interact with each other. Let's see. Let's get into some some movies. Y'all go ahead and chime in if y'all have ever seen these movies. Bye, y'all. I am going to show y'all a lot of VHSs, man. I do love uh, VHSs. I still have literally a, a DVD slash vhs player i'm old school man with it so you know what i'm saying i love watching og movies that i never seen or my dad uh used to watch this is a uh, bad lieutenant with harvey Keitel. if y'all are under 18 years old do not watch this movie because this shows a lot of bad stuff man oh snap just knocked over the table but uh yeah Usually you can catch these OG uh, films in, uh, in Goodwills, man, for like under, like, usually I get them for like 79 cents, like this is price, 
but uh, you can catch them for a dollar. Um, I have a whole, I have quite a few of them that I'm gonna show y'all that uh, I've I've found over the time of just going and stuff. But um, this was really this is a really dope movie that I picked up. Still in really good condition. I just literally watched it uh, like the other day. Here's another one. Bye out. At that judgment night with Emilio Estevez. Yes, the mighty duck man. And we got that boy Cuba Gooding Jr. in there. Dennis Leary. And if y'all don't know or notice who that is right there. If anybody knows, chime in let me, and y'all tell me who y'all know that is. He came out in a Marvel movie. I was about to say that's Venom. <laughs> nah, that ain't Venom, man. Does anybody know who this actor is? He's a lot younger in this in this picture. He came out in one of the, the Marvel movies. The middle guy, man, Hank. Ah, hey, that's that's actually his son, bro. That's Emilio Estevez. Ah, yeah, Curtis got him. That's Deacon Frost from Blade. Yeah, man. I didn't uh his his real name is uh Steven Dorf. I did not I did not know that that was him. I remember watching this movie back in and when it when it came out. It's almost 79 cents. Let me see when did it come out? Back in 93. And who else is also in here? Um Jeremy Piven. Jeremy Piven comes out in here. Dennis Leary is actually the bad guy. Um, uh, that guy does a, a lot of a lot of voices and stuff for movies and stuff like that. Let's see, we got another video. Bye, y'all. Mad Max. I don't know if anybody has ever seen this this case, bro. When they're running away, yeah, dude. They like um. Yeah, that's the that's the one when um. Going back to what Curtis was saying, they're trying to go to a a, a boxing match, bro, and then they uh they try to take like a, an exit to try to get around to the fight faster, and they end up in the hood, and man, they go through a whole bunch of stuff, and Dennis Leary and his and his goons and his thugs, basically like, man, they just they they run them run them all night, bro, and and just do some bad shit to them. But this movie is dope, man. If y'all haven't seen it. If y'all find it somewhere, pick it up. It's dope. Um, yeah, bro, it's some sick, sick movies. Um, this Mad Max, man. This is the this is the OG one. This is the the original one. Um, I've never seen this this cover before. Yeah, this is actually the movie. The movie with a more, uh, I mean, the one that most mostly everybody's used to seeing is probably like a a, a picture with him in the front of it like that. What's Gucci, uh, Itchy Guru? Thanks for stopping in, bro. I'm gonna be showing a whole bunch of thrift stuff that I picked up, yo. So, um, by all means, just stay tuned. Uh, you might see some dope stuff that I that I picked up. Oh my damn, trespassing was. Oh man, yo, that was a good one too, uh, Chris. Yeah, that trespassing, bro. I remember that one. I, matter of fact, I think I seen that one, dude, but I didn't pick it up because I th I thought I had it. Like, I mean, I got so mad movies, bro. When it comes to uh, to movies, like I don't know if y'all know David Blucker, uh, videos and collectibles. He's got a really dope channel. Like his backdrop is basically like his whole collection of movies, and I'm pretty sure he's got even more movies than that. But um, I got movies just the same, but I I even got like. VHS's man that just I'm just like I'm a I'm a big movie buff man when it comes to movies and stuff so I literally got um the whole collection the second the I think it's the second season I'm actually I was actually watching it before I got on live um it was the the TV series of Highlander I don't know if any of y'all got into that as well um I picked First one at a resale shop. I actually think I have that in one of my vids. And then my wife uh, picked me up uh, the second season. Um, so shout outs to the wife, man. So let's get into some uh, some DVDs. 
Curtis might like this one. Bye, y'all. Got that Kung Fu Panda number three. $1.99. This one I had to get for the kids, man, as well as myself. I love all of them. I've literally picked up um, all three of them for them. <laughs> Come on, Curtis. I know you like them. That uh, Kung Fu Panda, bro. <laughs> nah, the Lego movie's lit. Yo, I I I gotta get them the second one, man. Uh, I already picked them up the first one, and I think we already got that Ninjago movie. That one was dope, bro. That boy Lil Lloyd looking at. <laughs> so yeah, I got that Kung Fu Panda. Bye, out. We got that Star Wars, the Clone Wars. I just watched this one. Um, what was it like two days ago too? Uh, I had like three days off, so I started getting up on my movies, man. This was a dope movie. Um, this one I got, I think I took off the price tag. I think it was like two bucks. This was a really dope movie. For the Blu-ray, yeah. Yeah, that's going to be sick, bro. Let's see, we got some other ones. Bye, yeah. Got that Ninja Assassin. I watched this movie so many times, but I never owned it. And shoot, for two bucks, why not pick it up? Seeing that, yeah. You know what? I'm 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 waiting for them to make a a, a Ninja Gaiden, man. Or a Shinobi would be a dope uh, a dope Ninja movie too, bro. Like they need to they need to come back up with some with some good Ninja movies, yo. I even I, I just I actually did pick up um, Ninja the the Ninja the movie from uh, I think uh, who Scott Atkins uh, stars in it I picked that one up it was like a double feature uh, it's Ninja one and Ninja two they had it at my job for like two bucks um, yeah it was like two bucks um, I got that one on Blu-ray but my Blu-ray player actually broke so I uh, can't watch that at the moment. Another goodie that I picked up. Bye, yeah. Another season that, uh, I mean, another uh, show that I'm actually starting to get into. Just never, never got into it when it first came out. And man, these are actually really expensive. Trying to buy them on the resale shop, or I mean, on, on like at a resale place. Uh, I actually found this one. It was like six bucks. Um, anywhere else I've, I've, I've uh, seen these, they go, these are going for like $30, $40. Um, tattoo already. Kevy is in the, in the house. Was Gucci. Uh, you, didn't miss, you didn't miss a lot, bro. I'm, I'm actually just showing off the... Uh, I showed off the hot... Some of the Hot Wheels that I picked up. And then I'm, I've just got into the movies, the DVDs. Uh... This is the second season. Uh, I just actually finished this one. And then I picked up a while, while back the third season. So I'm going to start up on, on watching this one. Um, all the DVDs are in there. This thing is like brand new. Even Curtis would, uh, would vouch for that. <laughs> Another season that I've um, gotten into. Smallville. The place where Curtis... <laughs> um... This is the final season. I'm actually missing the ninth season. I actually picked up the eighth um, and and this one at the same time. I was gonna pick up the ninth season, but it was missing. Um, I think it was either one or maybe two uh, DVDs. So I didn't want to sit there and pick it up and then miss something. Yo, man, for sure I could vouch for that, uh, Chris. Yeah, man, and 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 all of these are like actually in really good condition, bro. Like I I don't I don't I wouldn't pick it up if it wasn't in good condition, you know. That and this actually was all together, but I accidentally dropped it before I got on live. But it does have all the all the all the DVDs in there. They're not scratched. Really dope find. This is another. Uh, let me see. I got this one for five bucks. Well, no, take that back. I think this one was like two dollars because. Uh, my wife is a teacher, so when you go to Goodwill and you have uh, they they have like teacher appreciation uh, day and stuff every I think it's like Tuesday. Let me see, no, I think it's Monday through Friday. 
if uh, if you're a teacher or you work for the school district, you get like 30% off. So, Kev, if you did not know that, brother, you better find yourself a, a teacher or somebody that works for the school district. Get in that, get in that uh, Goodwill, man, and uh, get you that discount. Um, let's see, we got some more movies. Bye, y'all. Got the Ultimate Avengers 2. Got this one for $2.99. This one was literally, used to be a Hollywood video. I don't, uh, I don't know if everybody had that in their areas, but that was a pretty dope little place to get videos. Yeah, this one was uh, pretty dope. I had to re I had to uh, rewatch this. No, take that back. I don't think I had ever watched this one before. I had picked this up. I watched the first one, but never watched this one. But it was actually pretty dope. Oh, I did not know that, that was a real song. <laughs> Getting off subject, but let's get let's get into the. Oh, you know what? Hold up. I got one more VHS. I know some of y'all like uh, manga or at least like anime. Bye, y'all. I, I scored this literally in um, in Sugarland. I went far into the into the thrift, man. Like I was driving all around. My wife is a teacher. Oh, well then, heck yeah, then, then Kev, you get that discount then, bro. Can't stand that song. It sucks to me. <laughs> I just thought it was hilarious, bro, because I think, I don't know if I, uh, if y'all remember, I sent that, that text in the, uh, <laughs> in one of the chat groups where that dude was at the strip club and he was riding old girl like, like a horse and shit, and this song was playing. <laughs> but yo, this, uh, yeah, man, if y'all go, um, deeper into y'all's areas, like, maybe, like, if you get into the, the, I would say more like the richer areas of, of your cities and stuff like that, if you if they have Goodwills and stuff like that, it's pretty good to go to those ones because you'll find stuff at a cheaper price. Um, this one I actually got at 79 cents. Um, let me see. And that, that color of the day, it was like, I think you were getting everything half off. So I actually got this for like, I think it was like 40 cents. But this is actually um, a French dub. Uh, the little, the the kind of sad thing about it was that um, I don't know if it's just my my VCR or it's the tape itself, but I can't see the picture. I can hear everything clearly, but I just can't see the picture. So it's basically just gonna be, you know, what would you call it, a conversation piece. Um, but it's a dope. It looks really dope. It's that Street Fighter 2. I think they actually have these right now. Um, oh, you have the English dub? No. Huh, I bet that, bro. I have seen, um, I don't know if any of y'all um, have seen that sale. They got like, like a, a $5, uh, $5 DVDs uh, of Street Fighters at, uh, at Walmart. Last time I was up there looking at the at the pops, uh, I saw two of them. I don't know which ones they are. I don't even know like which one this one is. Yeah, Chubbs, I'm I'm in Texas, bro. H Town to be exact. Is this the Street Fighter movie? Nah, this ain't the Street Fighter movie, bro. This the uh, the anime. Shit, I wish it was the movie. I love that movie too. That. That uh, Van Dam, Van Dam's one of my my favorite uh, martial artist superstars. I'm here, California. Yeah, bro. I mean, y'all got y'all got thrift stores out there big time too, Chubs. Yeah, Chris out here in Houston with me. Yeah, it's the anime movie, Curtis. Get it right. <laughs> uh, let's get into some of these games, man, because. I got quite a few of them too. Uh, Curtis, man, you might you like Sonic, right, bro? Look at that. I got that uh, Sonic and the Secret Rings. Never played it. Did see it when it first came out. Uh, let's see. I got this one for three ninety nine. 
I, the kids have played it. Uh, yeah, I bet. I bet so. The kids have played it. They told me it was pretty dope. I be. Oh, you played it on Dreamcast. Oh, you do, bro. Look, like, um, if you keep going all the way down, like, look up, like, a, uh, it's literally past, like, a, a neighborhood called Lake Olympia and Sierra Plantains. And that's the two locations that I went to, bro. Like, um, that's the, pl that's the locations that I, I was finding, um, uh, a lot of this stuff that I'll show. Uh, picked up this for the, my girls. Bye, y'all. Just Dance 2. Have yet to uh, throw this one on yet. Got that Katy Perry. <laughs> Hit single. Firework. That's uh, Kev's favorite song. <laughs> uh... Bye, yeah, we got this one, Monopoly Streets Go. I don't care what you say, this game is dope. Man, this is one game to like literally play with all the homies. If you ain't got dominoes, crack out some Monopoly, man. This will get the party going. <laughs> You're going to be dancing too, Venom. Hell yeah. About to show y'all boys the Harlem Shake. Dude, what are you doing this weekend? I'm going to bed. Oh, man, let me see, bro. Uh, I think I'm actually working Saturday. I gotta look at my schedule again, but I think I'm actually working Saturday. I would love to go to Bread Rock with you, bro. Um, if y'all have watched, um, some of my, uh, past videos, um, the stuff that I, oh, Sunday. Man, I had, like I said, I had to check, bro, but usually I'm working on the weekends. I, I hate that I that I do it, man, because you know that's when my kids are off, and I like to spend time with them and be able to go hunting and stuff. Yeah, yeah, I'll I'll I'll, I'll, um, I'll PM you, uh, Chris. Uh, but I was saying, like, uh, uh, one of my last videos that I that I picked up some thrift stuff. Um, but yeah, I picked up some Skylanders for my for my little boy for little Venom. And I picked up the trap, uh, the, the the little thing that you have to basically uh, put them on the portal, and um, I couldn't play that game because these are you have to play with a specific uh, portal and stuff like that. So I was finally able to find this game literally out there in Missouri City. This one was four ninety nine. I think we got it for half that day. Um. And I and I I literally have already found him most of almost all of the uh, Skylanders. Uh, that Comic Con that I went to, that um, at that Trader's Village, I, that got to be like my next footage that I'm probably gonna post up. But um, I found him some of them some of them up there, and I know Timmy would love this game. Bye, y'all. At the Dragon Ball Budokai Tenkaichi Two. This game, man, is freaking hard, man. You see, I got this one. I think this one was for like two or three bucks. Still in really good condition. The only thing, this one didn't have the the um, the manual. I wish it did because this game is it's it's hard to play. Um, so that was like all the movies. And DVDs and VHSs that I've picked up. That was a pr uh, a presser of uh, fig. I mean, uh, of videos, man. Um, getting into some gangster shit. <laughs> I picked up this book. I actually I picked this up for a homie, man, because uh, uh, I actually read it, and one of one of my kids actually ruined it, so I had to pick it up for him. I gotta return it. Basically, got it for eighty nine cents. You want to? Okay, there it goes. Yeah, it's the the story of the Godfather, Paul Castellano. Really, really dope. Uh, um, book, man. A very good read if y'all if y'all are into uh, you know old mobster stuff like that. Really dope. Um, 
Let's get into some of these figs. I actually do got quite a few pops as well. Speaking of Superman, Chris Dick Superman, we got the most hated Superman. <laughs> I think this is, uh, what, that was my nickname. <laughs> I want some Buddha. <laughs> this is the most hated Superman, I think, of all. His, light, his eyes still light up, but they're like very, they're dying already. But I thought that the fig look, looked all right. He actually has a, uh, actually has the Superman logo on the bottom of his boots. This has got some decent articulation. He ain't got no on the lean. He got no yay yay. No pivot. No jerking arms. He just got about. Maybe like 12 points of articulation. It's not that bad. But this is for Little Venom. He been he was asking me about a, a Superman. So when we went to the thrift, I ended up finding him this one. Why do they call it the Eric Eisner? Why do they or why do I call it? <laughs> um, I call it the Eric Eisner jerking arms because... I was on one of his live streams on um, Facebook, and I think he was, um, I think he was reviewing um, the Black Widow, and I think it was also the Black Knight, and he did something with one of the arms, and he was like, look at that, it got the jerking off arms, and I don't know, it just stuck with me, man, and ever since I started doing the reviews, I just threw that in there. They had a 2000, let me see, is it from 2006? Um, uh, this one don't have a date. I would, yeah, I, I'm pretty sure. It's from that movie, bro, like, uh, what is it, uh, I think it's called Superman Returns. Just, the best character in there was that Lex Luthor that was played by, uh, uh, what's his face? What's old dude's name? Yeah, Superman Returns. Fapping it. <laughs> I'm surprised Tater ain't in here. I got one of these too. I thought this was a um, a Walking Dead fig, but then uh, I found out that he's a uh, one of those elite figs. If he watches this or anything, I may have to let him know if he needs this guy or something. They have pretty good articulation. They come with some some dope little weapons and stuff like that. He must have had like a backpack or something. Yeah, I thought it was a G.I. Joe at first. I mean, to tell you the truth, I thought it was one of the Walking Dead figs at first. And then I thought, well, maybe it might be a newer Joe. But uh, come to find out, it's a, an elite. The elite Corpse, I think that's what they're called. I like the Brandon Ralph is in the CW show. Yeah, bro. The movie was, yeah. I mean, I guess you can use this guy for customs if you if you're into that too. So I got that little dude. Um, I don't know if y'all know what does this come with. This looks like that machine that came out in the first Avengers, right? Where they're trying to open that portal. This came in the bag with all these uh, Hot Wheels. That So did that little guy right there. That comes with Rocket Raccoon. Oh, this comes with that Marvel Legend? You know what, bro? I think you're right, Chubbs. I think you are right. I'm gonna have to look it up, bro. Cause I, I I was thinking that it that it came with a legend too. <laughs> Tater's a racist. <laughs> oh, <laughs> that thing Drax shoots. Nah, bro. Nah, that's that. That's that. Um, he shoots a freaking um. 
a bazooka and shit or something, right? We already no. That's just that's just Curtis. Curtis is that. <laughs> it's not from the first Avenger. That's what I. Uh, that's what I was. I, I know it came out in the movie, Chris. I just Ronin. Mm, no, nah, I don't think it came with that Ronin figure. That Ronin figure was from that. Uh, uh, that ten years, isn't it? <laughs> we also got this dude. Bye out. This is one of those uh, three and three quarters. Oh, okay. Yeah. Yeah, okay. I know what you're talking about, uh, Chubbs. The thing that they shot him with. Drag shoots at the Ravager ship with it, right? Okay, yeah. Yeah, this one was pretty dope though too. That Marvel Oh, it's a Marvel Universe. Okay. Yeah, this one was pretty dope. He has that little marbling effect on him, but I don't know. I kind of like it on some figs. I guess on other figs it doesn't look good, but this one um isn't that bad. I like the articulation on these little dudes. I I have a couple of them now. There's actually a Wolverine that I got to grab. Um, it's a Weapon X when he had the, not when he was naked, but when he's, uh, when he's got the suit on. You have White Doom. Oh, nice. Yeah, the Mark 1. I like how he has the antenna and stuff like that. Look at that. That's, that's real Van Damme right there of him. He's got the complete Van Damme. Got the punk kicker kick. You don't go back. I don't know what he all came with. At first, I was thinking that he came with this thing. But now it's dope to know that he came with Rocky. Because I actually have that fig, too. I had Thor. What? I had a Thor and a Juggernaut of the Marvel Universe. Ooh, that's dope. Oh, now, now, this is actually, I didn't know, this actually came in here with, with all the stuff that I picked up too, and, you know what, before I show this, let me grab that, that, that Wolverine. So I actually got this one too. Um, this is another uh, Marvel Universe figure, I guess. Right? This is during his uh, covert missions and stuff. I was thinking about putting this with... Um, with my uh, Marvel Universe uh, Sentinel, because I actually do have another uh, Wolverine with him that I put him that I put uh, Wolverine in his hand, and more like he's like an officer or something like that. I have to show y'all that in my next uh, um, live stream. Kind of, I guess it's a little weak how they kind of like fuse the the. The claws together. These have really good uh, articulation though too. This one was in pretty good condition as well. So that that dude also came with them. But I remember Curtis was was talking about um, some figure man with with a suit or something like that at one time. This figure came with all of these and I didn't know it was really rare until um, I spoke with somebody on uh, on offer up that he was selling it and he was like that this figure is really rare bye yeah
Did anybody recognize him? He's a pretty cool little little, uh, little fig. He's not as tall as an legend. He's more like about six foot. See if y'all can see y'all can tell who that is. He does need to be fixed. That's actually like some paint that got on him. I don't believe he has markings on him either though. I think it might have been on this foot, but the bottom piece came off. He has pretty good articulation. I like that it was all black suit. <laughs> Did he fall in a portal? Too bad. Let's see. Batman, yes. It is from Batman. Yep. Liam Neeson. Ra's al Ghul. I don't know why my stuff is going so slow. I have him. You'll see him in. Oh, okay. Dope. He, he comes with guns and stuff like that. Take it right, Chris? Because he looks like he has, like, gun ha holding hands. I can't wait to see that part two, bro, your collection, man. I really, I really, really dig, man, how you made all those Rick uh, customs, bro. Those were dope. He's supposed to be Asian? No, just a mask. Oh, he came with a mask? All right, I'll have to check that out. No guns. Oh, well, that's kind of lame, man, because let me see. I wonder if he could actually fit one of these. These are these are the legend guns. Or not, this one's not a legend gun. This is um one of those elite core guns. That don't look that bad. Let me see, this one actually, I could put it in this hand because this actually has the trigger finger. Yeah. That looks good. 4 5 pistol. Yeah, that looks dope. I like that. So let's see, we got a wrestler. Just like the ancient one from Dr. Strange is supposed to. Be an old Asian man noise. <laughs> I hate that too. And that mask is small as hell. Oh, for real? Oh, because is this supposed to be that mask that when they, they let off that, that smoke and everybody's supposed to start hallucinating and stuff like that? Because this is when they come back, right? To like basically destroy Gotham. And for the raster, we got a basic Dolph Ziggler. Another thing that my son is really into um, is a basic Ziggler. You wish you could pull this off. Show off, yeah. Oh, when the Scarecrow was in part one, two. Yeah. Yeah, to show off. My son loves uh, WWE figs. I, I got to show that, man, in, a, in another video, too. I literally found um, the WWE. Uh, it's literally the SmackDown and Raw edition entrance. I found one for like two bucks. Uh, I showed everybody in the tag group um, that when I found it. But then I ended up going another time, and I found one for $8.00. Still sealed and everything, um, but I opened that for Little Venom, and he went to town with it, and he got to his own ring now as well. Yes, Curtis. Of course, elites are better, bro. <laughs> but this is for the little one, man. Gotta give him the the, the one that doesn't have as much articulation. <laughs> I mean, he does really want my Stone Cold Steve Austin to leave, but I can't give him that one. That one's actually going to another home. Y'all probably will see that video hopefully soon once I start getting all this stuff out. 
So let's see. I got some. Uh, well, I got one. Um, let me get these trash cans out the way. I got one model kit. Kind of usually hard to show them because my dial isn't as wide. But I picked this one up. Um, this was from an, uh, um, a different uh, thrift store. It's called Pennywise. I've mentioned it in, in one of my videos before. The, oh, that'd be dope, Chris. I grew up playing with wrestlers. Seems like just yesterday. Oh, wait. It was yesterday. <laughs> yeah, I'm, hey, man. Caleb, Caleb, I was the same way, bro. Yeah, it's a model kit, bro. Um, I don't know what kind of model kit. I, I, I was trying to, like, um, see pictures of it on the back. This thing is still sealed. It's called, it's from a brand called Airfix. I was thinking it was, it was paper, but over here it shows plastic pieces, so... I only like dots. <laughs> It does show the pa the the paints you should use with this. It looks pretty dope. It's an Aston Martin. Being that it's still sealed, I don't know. I I might. I only picked it up for a buck. Um, I might throw it in one of my giveaways. I don't know who's all into them, but it'd be nice to go to uh, a dope little house that would appreciate it I actually have two in the the works that I have yet to even finish um, next I'm gonna show y'all something that I I actually got to reopen this box cuz I gotta throw something else to the cuz in this one y'all just don't tell them that I showed y'all cuz y'all gonna be seeing it first um, But y'all will see one of the things that he'll be getting. The other one, he knows what it is. But uh, I went to Goodwill and I actually saw this right as I was leaving. Yeah, they everywhere, Curtis. <laughs> this is uh, from the Loot Crate. This is a 1940s Captain America shield. Like I said, I had to open up the box because it would not fit in another box. And then I just ended up having to open the package I was going to send him because I'm sending him something else to go with this. But this is the... Uh, comes with this card. It's basically, I think, a certificate, a certificate of authenticity. Official prop replica. And it does come with the shield. A stand and a base. This thing, this thing is dope, man. I don't know if it goes to a hot toy. I, I have seen uh, videos before where they tried putting this with a hot toy, but I just can't remember if he were able to hold it, being how the straps are. But it's it's it's, it's dope because it actually has some 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 weight to it. It's all metal. Um, I think they actually did come out with another one where it was the, the round shield. Put it on a 6 inch cap. Shoot, that would be way too big for a 6 inch, six inch cap. This would have to at least go to a hot toy. But but now being that, like I said, I'm going to, I already opened up his box. Uh, I'm going to just, I'm going to send him the whole box. And now uh, I'm glad that I did it because um, I actually wanted to show it off before I sent it to him. So, what not a better way to show it off, but right here with all y'all, man. So, but like I said, I'm quite sure y'all see it in his video. I'm going to be sending it to my cuz. Uh, I know a lot of y'all probably are confused if, if he is my cousin, but he's not my cousin. It's just by, by Broskis. Um, through YouTube, but uh, I'm going to be sending this to my cuz, Sandman PR Vlogs. 
so the way, let's see, let's see, let's see where we at. Let me show off some pops, man, because these are some of the pops that I found. Literally, these are um, all loose. The first one, Kev would really like this one. Bye, yeah. We got that boy Carlitos Brown. <laughs> World War II shield, yeah, that was a World War II shield. That was the one from the, the first Avenger. We got that Charlie Brown pop. This one was loose. I have stumbled across them before, even before I was collecting them. Yeah, man, I had to pick this one up. This one was like the cleanest one I think I have found of um, the pops that, that have been loose. Um, he didn't have a sticker, but I actually got him for like 89 cents. Really dig that one. He's really small. Second up, bye yow. We got that Disney's Bell. I think she's missing Mara right here. But it's all good. My daughter loves her, man. Yeah, that's Kev. Uh, Beauty and the Venom. Chris, that's that's Kev, bro. I think that's his other channel. Kev has like. 30 YouTube channels, he, he makes them so that he can um, confuse the big brother. <laughs> so they don't catch him. This one was uh, 89 cents. Literally all of these were. So we got her. And we got... Bye, yeah! We got David Blucker in the house. Extra mean Dave. This is uh, Angry. He'd be confusing the fuck out of me, yeah. This is uh, Angry from the movie uh, Inside Out. I don't know, Chubbs, you got any of these? If Chubbs is still in here. This one was dope, man. It almost, it almost, uh, I almost uh, didn't see it. I mean, I, I seen it, but I almost didn't know what it was at first until I started uh, noticing the eyes because all the pops got the same kind of eyes. Just, you know, in a different type of uh, emotion. But, yeah, I almost passed this dude up. Then I picked him up and looked underneath and was like, oh, shoot, that's a Funko Pop. So I picked him up. And then this dude, I don't remember him in the movie because I think I fell asleep around that time. But, bye, yeah. We got this big boy. He does got a little bit of scuffage on him. This looks like Curtis in a cartoon looks insane <laughs> <Damn Trump. laughs> yeah bro do you, Chris do you know what, what's this guy's name what's this pink elephant's name <laughs> I'm that fat no nah, bro you're just that crazy cray 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 right right Curtis <laughs> so yeah, those are all the um, those are all the pops that I picked up. I think it was pretty dope. I mean, literally you get four pops for like two bucks, uh, three, a little bit over four dollars maybe. Not bad. Let's see if I can get these little bad boys out of the way. Scoot some of them back. Gonna try to take a, a little page out of Kev's book. I like how he stack he stands everybody up while he's doing his uh lives. If I only had me a, a, a short uh short leg Dennis Rodman, this would be the video. <laughs> Wake yourself up. Okay, let's see uh Okay, so we showed off the ridiculous Superman. I am going to have some stuff, like I said, in uh, boxes. Oh, here goes the last pop that I picked up. Bye, yeah. Got that Selena Kyle from the Gotham TV show, Before the Legend. Uh, the box is a little uh, messed up, but... I'm not that type of collector when it comes to the pops. I still will pick them up as long as they're not completely beat. Then, you know, I might take them out. Like, 
Bing Bong. That's that dude's. Oh, okay. You think the truck that hit you, man? Yeah, young cat woman. My friend wanted me to apply for the wax show. <laughs> so this one got said James Gordon, George, James Gordon, Harvey Bullock, Bruce Wayne, Oswald Couplepot, Selena Kyle, and Fish Mooney. Mooney was dope in that show. But so is that Oswald, man. That boy, it's ham in there. He actually looks like freaking, uh, like a young Oswald. So I picked her up for, what was it, five bucks? Yeah, I, uh, I love that show, man. That show is dope. I just fell off from watching it, though. And I'll show him next. One of the next ones that I will be... You know what? I'll just show the legend. He's not that... Uh... You know what? Let me grab his head real fast. Because I actually... Alright, my bad. So, before I show off that legend, this is the one that you're talking about, right, uh, Chubbs? That that machine comes with? Let's see if we can get it out without everything falling. So, it would have came like this. I actually customized that Joker look like Jeepers Creepers. Yeah, that new that new Joker is wild, man. So, anyways, in that whole bag of all those Hot Wheels and some of these figures right here, this cat came with him. Bye, yeah. Yes, I know. He's missing the helmet, and it did get a little scratch in the back. But I'm thinking of doing a custom. With this dude, I'm thinking of repainting him, even though as nice as that paint looks. Hopefully I can save this, the, the golds and these. If not, I might just repaint the whole entire thing. But I at least want to paint repaint the blue. Because, um, you know, the helmet, man. This I'm surprised that the helmet was came off. But um, what I ended up using for... Uh, for a replacement was, y'all know if y'all have the black uh, knight fig, he comes with a whole bunch of head sculpts. So I thought that this looks really kind of close to, um, nah bro, I'm not clickbaiting. I did tell y'all I had some, I had a legend, I mean there was legends in here, but it wasn't legends, it would have been only one. So this is the legend that I did find. Yeah, bro, that's what I thought. He he does look like him. I mean, I could you could actually add some like five o'clock shadow because he did have that in the comic books. But I was thinking about just painting this like red. Yeah, bro, right. And the head looks a little bit than that really small one, dude. Cause like, look how small that is compared to this. And I think this fits a lot better he is a little loose so that's another thing I would have to fix but I thought that that would be dope that's the body well it's actually a legend fig because I mean the head's still there so that's an actual legend so there is no clickbait <laughs> I did put it, I have put, I try to actually put everything in the thumbnail that I had, but I, I wasn't able to put Hot Wheels and the Pops and the Ridiculous Superman. 
Um, this one is actually another one that was on the thumbnail. Bye, y'all. We got a McFarlane fig, if I'm right. Yeah, there we go. McFarlane.com. Um, Chris would know this dude. Use the, what was that? Use the floor polish to tighten his joint. Oh, okay. Yeah, I know, right? They're actually all fit, are all fitting in there. Yeah, bro, Steve Francis. And y'all know me. Well, I actually, got, I actually picked this up for two ninety nine. dollars um, I do collect these, so I will be opening this up. Um, there goes the wave. Had all the really good ones. Got Ray Allen, Elton Brand. Kwame Brown, Steve Francis, Antoine Jameson, that boy T Mac, Dirk Nowitzki, Shaq, and we got John Stockton, man. That would have been a really dope um, wave to have picked up. Wait. Don't open them? The only reason why I was going to open them, bro, is because, like, this thing is, like, mad yellow. I mean, it's not really bent. <laughs> Curtis, that's worth money. Y'all think I should leave it in the box? I was only... I was actually only going to, like... Uh, it can still be worth money. Oh, okay. Lysol wipes. Nah, I don't think Lysol wipes is going to take off this uh, yellow one. I know there's stuff that you can take off the yellowing off the bottom of your shoes. Um, the stuff that, that cleans your soles, but uh, I don't know about that. Oh, well, you're going to have to let me know what that is, bro, because I have yet to see that stuff. Yeah, no doubt. All right, so let me see. Oh, and also continuing with with the... Uh, I'm going to leave the best one for last, so I don't know if Chubb's already left. It shows that we got three in here, but... Uh, leaving it with the Rockets. Check that out. Bye, y'all! This is actually the first of the Houston Rockets championships hats that were released... Yeah, Chris. And it's in really, really good condition, bro. I've only, I've already wore it a couple of times, but I made sure I Lysol the heck out of it. It is a starter game. Snapback. I did get this bad boy for $4.99, but look at that bill, man. You don't see no sweat marks. Even on the inside, it was clean. Or is clean. Like I said, I've only worn it a couple of times, and I usually uh, put a, a towel like right here. That's that OG starter. Try power. Man, you do not find these all the time. We do have the second one when we won back back to back. Man, yours got stolen. Man. I never had them, so like this is dope just just being able to have them. You know, this is nostalgia for for H Town, man. So as soon as I seen it, I snatched it up as fast as possible. Yeah, bro, 1994. Oh. What were you like? Uh, you were still like 35, Curtis? <laughs> oh, we talk about, bro. I was already banging in them streets, 94. <laughs> Same day I bought it, my uncle sold it. Oh, what? Why, bro? This is collector's item at its finest. You know, I, I, I'll tell you some real cool stuff, man. My, my cousin actually had some property um, out here. not Well, not out here in Katy or anything like that, but um, he, he, had a, uh, he had some property um, out here. I think it was in Manville or somewhere. And he actually, and his neighbor was actually Hakeem Olajuwon's brother. He used to see him like all the time. Um, Hakeem used to actually go out there sometimes. But... I wish he still had the property because that would have been dope to like get it signed by him. Yes, bro, I still got the Figma. I'm saving that one for last. You got to stick with me. 
We are already an hour deep in here. I didn't even, I can't believe we already went that fast. Um, but this is the second to last thing that I've picked up. Bye, y'all. I don't know if any of y'all have gotten one of these. This was 10 bucks. This, uh, I do have like a little bit of an issue with it. But this one comes with, um, this is one of those, it, it is a knockoff. And it has all these games on here. I mean, you can just go for days just looking all the games. It does work. It does come on. You can hear it. I just. Has like a whole bunch of games. I heard that these are knockoffs. So some of the games aren't real. Um, the only thing is. Is that like. Like I said. It does come on. You can hear it. Um, I just can't see the picture. And I don't know if it's my TV. Or it's just the connection from here. So I'm trying to find another connection from it. I was actually thinking about throwing this in a giveaway too. Um, it does come with two remotes. It does have some of these games, and look at that, it shows you right there 620 games, 8 bit games. This you could have fun every single day of the week. Um, the ones that I have seen that, that, that are um, on YouTube, they're the HD version of this, so. It might be a little bit more clear, but still, nonetheless, that's a sick find. The minis are trash. Ah, oh, Punisher, you in the house, bro. What's Gucci? Damn, Chubbs is a true homie, bro. Hashtag true homie. In the grocery store. What you picking us up to eat, bro? Furious Chubb's got the munchies. That's why he's doing. <laughs> All right, so Chubb's has been waiting and waiting to see this. We have surpassed an hour. About how long uh, I go on here for, but we may stay for a little bit longer. Because I actually was thinking about opening that, that Steve Francis up and, like, showing him off. But y'all want me to keep him in the box. Um, this one, we might, I mean, maybe we can open him. He's already been open. Bye, There we go, Chubbs. There goes the Figma that I promised, bro. And yes, yes, I found this in Goodwill, bro. Dope, yeah. I did not know who it was. Um, I was actually on my way to Galveston when we stopped. We were just like, we never been into this, uh, specific uh goodwill and we stopped and dude I, I i like i said uh i wasn't planning on showing this one or pulling it out um let me get it have <laughs> y'all trade me what you got to trade bro <laughs> i don't know what it goes for i mean well take that back i think uh, um timmy told me how much it went for the way it is because it's not it's not complete i'll tell you that um, it doesn't have the base. It has the interchangeable faces, and it's the thing that it's missing is the two swords. So it's missing the two swords and the base. But it has the fig. It has all the interchangeable hands, the faces, and it also does have the effects, which are. But hold up, man. Let me show y'all, man. This figma went. I got this bad boy for three ninety nine. It's from Swords Arts Alliance. Yeah. No, I know it's Figma. <laughs> yeah, so it does it does still have um there's actually two of them. There's two um um accessories, but it just doesn't have the sword. So I guess whoever had it um I don't even know why why would you donate this, man? I'm I'm like shocked that the dude did donate it cuz this is already the, the second thing, the second most valuable, well, one of the second most valuable things that I have found at Goodwill. The biggest one that I had ever found, how much was it for? Right here, bro, 3 
He must have fell on his head to donate that. Yeah. I don't know why, bro. But, I mean, it was literally sitting up like that when I first walked in the door. And when I seen it, somebody was walking right by me. So, all I saw was the fig. And I seen this side of it. And I knew right away. I was like, yo, that's a fig. <laughs> that's a figma, dude. And actually... There was something on this side of it, so I couldn't see all of this. All I saw was the figure. But, I mean, literally, when I first saw it, all I saw was it said fig, and I knew it was a figma. And sure enough, dude, as soon as I ran up on it, I seen this bad boy. Um, I did actually take some pictures with him when I was driving to, um, to uh, Galveston. I, I took the kids to Moody Gardens. I actually did put another sword on him. Um, I used it from one of the figs that I had from Game of Thrones. Them things go for 60 and up now. Dang. I'm getting the bootleg of My Hero Academia. Be cool. Yeah, I think that's what... Um, yeah, bro. I, I, I'm, not, I'm not actually a collector of, of uh, this figure or this line. I mean, it's dope to have just found it, because like I said, this is the second most valuable thing that I have found at Goodwill. Um, the first one that I found, actually a hot toy, and it was, a uh, um, yes, a hot toy. I had the uh, Two-Face Harvey Dent from the Dark Knight um, hot toy I had found at a Goodwill. Um, I wish I was... Um, um, I wish I was uh, had the video, I mean, my, my channel up and everything. I mean, I did have a channel, but I just didn't have videos. I was watching everybody's at that time. But um, that would have been some really freaking dope footage if I would have been able to show that. Plus, I got the bootleg for 11 bucks, and I think it's better than the original Figma. Damn! What goes for 300 Chris? But yeah, I ended up selling off that, that, uh, that hot toy. And and then another thing that I found that was really dope was that Marvel Universe. Um, um, oh, the Dico Figma, dang! Um, was that Marvel Universe Sentinel? I found that for like four bucks, and I think, I mean, all together it come it, it goes for like a hundred bucks. Um, but I actually did find it with the 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 Wolverine. I just didn't purchase it because it. It was um, in another bag with some other uh, Marvel Universe figs, but they wanted like $10 for all of them. And I thought at the time I didn't have like that cash on me and I just had, you know, enough to grab the Sentinel. So I, I went for the Sentinel. Let's see, the Figma Academia from my Hero Academia. Oh, okay. Yeah, bro. Uh, Chubbs, man, if you want a dog, holler at me, man. We could work something out. Like I said, uh, um, I'm not... I'm not a big fan of it. I mean, to me right now, it's just a, a you know, a, a conversational piece that I found. But, you know, if you like it more than obviously I do, you know, we can work something out, dog. I, I, I ain't, um, I'm not, uh, gonna beat you up for anything. We can work something that trade for a legend or something like that. Um, I don't know. What's the dude's name? Um, all right, that's a bet. Is that, is this what his name is, Chubbs? Kirito? Or Kirito? I think that's what his name is, uh, Chris. Kirito. Yeah, Kirito. Well, come on, Curtis. Jump in here and translate, bro. It's get it all. <laughs> but yeah, bro. So didn't want to let y'all down. Like I said, I did have some. I did have Legend. I did have Figma. Movies up the yin yang. I mean, look at this. This is the table. We got stuff over here. Y'all see all of that. Stuff over here, got stuff down there, there's stuff back there. And that's like within, 
I mean, literally, I might have picked up all of this within, like, a couple, like, maybe a week or so. It's just that, man, I've been buying, bro, and, you know, at the time when I had my other job, it was a lot easier to put everything up. Shoot, I appreciate everybody, man, for coming out and, and, and watching it. I mean, and watching me do this, man. Like I said, um, this was this was a big time coming. I am behind on uh, uh, some of my vids, so that's why I I, I, I felt to just uh, to just put this in a live stream and stuff like that. And this is pretty cool, even though I don't get to you know put all my editing to suit to 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 what I do, you know, uh, it's still dope being able to interact with y'all while I'm sitting here, you know, um, showing off what I got and stuff like that, because in the videos, you don't necessarily get to do that, but, you know, yeah, he's from, yeah, Sword Art Online, yeah, that's what, that's what I saw um, on the front of it, it says, action figure, Figma, Sword Art Online, and I actually thought that that was just like, what this was this was like another name for it or something but i started seeing okay that's it's the name says kirito i just couldn't remember and i think uh timmy actually told me a story about this dude which is pretty dope um but yeah man that was um uh, that was a sick sick find to find at the thrift um i will i will uh hopefully be able to try to um uh, uh show y'all the footage of that um um, in one of my next vids, I can try to like show y'all everything. But uh, I hope y'all, like I said, I know y'all already said it, but I know I uh, hope y'all enjoyed this, man. Thanks for all of y'all, man, for coming out and chilling with me, man. My phone is dying. I literally had a hundred percent. Now I'm down to fifteen percent. But like I said, thank y'all, man, for uh, for coming out here and, and chopping it up with me, man. Um, some of this stuff, like I said, I probably will throw up in 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 uh, in, in giveaways, man, because I sh literally shot up like crazy, man, from the last giveaway I had. I think it was like 400 or 500, and I shot up all the way up to a thousand. Um, thanks to the love for every symbiote that joins me, man. But uh, yeah, man, don't forget to smash that like button on your way out. Uh, share it, tweet it out. I don't care what you do, man. Leave a comment. Y'all already know how we do, man. But I want y'all to stay tuned because I do got more to come. And like I always say, this the end of this one. I'll see y'all on the next one. Bye, y'all. Venom out.